On January 13, 2012, the Costa Concordia capsized near Italy after the captain veered off course and hit a rock. 32 people died due to his reckless behavior. Captain Rick Kumo of the Maritime Simulation Institute explains what navigational tools would have prevented this disaster if they had been used. I'd like to welcome you to one of our full mission bridge simulators here at Maritime Simulation Institute. What we have here is a mock-up of a ship's wheelhouse. In the center here, you've got uh, the ship's helm station where you would control the ship's rudder, rudder angle indicators, rate of turn indicators, and also helm command. Other pieces of equipment that they also would have had on the Costa Concordia our Ectus unit, the electronic charting system, and we also have radar units uh, that they would be using for navigation and traffic management. What we're looking at here is the navigational track of a ship that would be transiting through these waters. On the chart, where you see the deep red line, that is the actual track that the ship should be following. However, like on the evening of the Costa Concordia, the captain decided to not follow the track line, to go in close to the uh, place that he wanted to do the pass by, and went outside the safety boundaries of the cross-track distance, and that should have activated alarms. And then also, uh, by deviating so far to the, the west, he would have actually hit the ledge. Since the captain disregarded the navigational equipment on board, the cruise liner crashed into a massive rock and capsized. 